Well, again, welcome, welcome. I'm just going to start this <laughs> because it's gone terribly wrong uh, already. Uh, by the way, I, d I wasn't given any music, so let's blame creepy, guys. Hashtag blame creepy always. Don't call me a hoe, okay? Anyway, guys, welcome uh, to my presentation on chat engagement. Um, this is going to be a lot of winging it. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit nervous. I was a bit like Arati Bessa, who did an amazing job. A little bit nervous, guys, so bear with me, okay? I feel like a lot of pressure. Um, I just kind of wanted to say, by the way, as a disclaimer from the beginning, um, with this sort of topic, there's a lot of um, opinions that I'm going to be throwing out there, okay? So everything um, I'm going to be telling you guys today is going to be kind of observations I've made. And also, just because I'm saying this is the sort of thing that I advise you to do, doesn't mean I always do it myself. Um, I also make the same mistakes. So, you know, if you guys are like, wait a minute, you do that too. I know. I'm not perfect, guys, okay? I know it seems like it. I understand. But, unfortunately, I'm not. Anyway, guys, welcome in, guys. How are you all doing? Well, a Joker, hello! Hello, Joker. How are we doing? One of the many Jokers amongst the elite community. How are you all doing? We got a creepy Nanus in here. We got a Heavy. We got a Teen Wolf. Rigged. What's rigged? <laughs> I've got a Kaiser insulting me with absolutely no encouragement whatsoever. Thank you so much, sir. How are we doing? And another Joker. We got Joker. What? Joker. What? 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 Ha hashtag rigged. Wait, what happened? Oh, right. I just realized. See? Rule one of chat, read chat. <laughs> I missed that uh, Creepy Nana's one to, uh, to honour there. Congrats, congrats. Flemily, hello, Foopsy Poop. How are we doing? Hashtag Blame Kaiser. You got this, Flem. Thank you. There we go. That's a bit of encouragement. Thank you so much. All right, guys. We're going to go straight into it. So here we go. It's, oh, oh, see? I should be good at presentations. My mum's a teacher, but uh, I'm not. <laughs> doing great already, Flemma. Thank you so much. Hi, Flemma. Hi, Sananas. Hi, Heavy. Hi, Team Wolf. Hi, Joker. 2.0. <laughs> Joker, Will of Joker, this is my question. Guys, we've never really kind of figured out who's the ultimate Joker. Who's the ultimate Joker, guys? Let's find it out, you know? All the highs, exactly, exactly. Teach us all, uh, teach us all mum with Flemma. <laughs> she is, she's retiring in April, funny enough, because uh, she's, uh, she's done her teaching, she's passed on her wisdom. Unfortunately, none to me, clearly. Anyway, guys, so, chat engagement. Like I said, guys, if you missed at the top of this, a lot of this are going to be opinions, uh, things that I've witnessed myself. Take with it like a pinch of salt. Is that the expression? Take with it a pinch of salt because um, just because I'm saying these are the things that I advise doesn't mean that you have to do them as well. It's all opinionated at the same end of the day. And also I, I fail at some of these things myself as well. We all do it, you know, we all have our bad days and we do forget things. Okay, so my first thing, guys, is most importantly, don't ignore chat. Uh, nobody wants to hear me sing. How are you lovely people doing today? What? Who's singing? Everybody sing. Don't ignore chat. Um, it is the... I put it in big scary red letters because it's very important, people. We don't ignore chat. Um, I can't stand going into stream and just being ignored. I've had raids that I've done or gone with raids and we've just been completely ignored and you're just like, not usually in fairness when we do raids within the elite community, it's been uh, outside uh, of the community. It, it's just fundamental. Chat should be half of your stream. It's talking to your chat. Number one, don't ignore chat. Did you read my chats? I'm reading. Teachers or mama flemmer, I'm reading. Obviously guys, you know, there's always gonna be an exception to the rule. Don't ignore chat, but if you have got a lot of chat messages coming in, obviously you're not going to be able to read everything if you've got a lot coming in at once. You know, this is, when you see those really big streamers, they will still acknowledge chat, but they're not going to be able to read every single message because it's just not humanly possible. You wouldn't get anything done on your stream unless you're doing just chat stream. But there you go. Uh, yeah, creepy, don't ignore chat. <laughs> uh, sings in high-pitched voice. Yes. What are we singing, Joker? Tell me what we're singing. Okay, so first rule, what's the point of chat? Well, for me, I'm like, if chat wasn't there, you might as well just play a game offline. This is the way I look at it, right, guys? Or, you know, do a YouTube video. You know, it's how your community engages with you. It's how you get to know them. Uh, if you don't chat with your audience, why are you streaming? I always think this, I'm like, honestly, the amount of people that just go and play a game, don't talk to their chat, talk, like, why are you streaming? What, are you expecting to become really famous just from people watching you sit in there playing a game? Like, no. 
unless you're absolutely fucking amazing at a game, right? That's the exception to the rule, where someone's gameplay is so entertaining that they don't need to necessarily chat with uh, the audience because they can chat amongst themselves. But that is the exception, guys. It is the exception. Um, I don't know, like a random tune. <laughs> okay. uh, it's a way to get a ding when chat is engaged. What, like me? Ding! Well, this is where, you know, when you think about mods comes in, uh, to, that's really important. Language flavor. what did I say? <laughs> is this family friendly? I'm sorry, I'm being good. I'm being good. All right. Why is it important? Chat with the audience it helps create a community. It's kind of like, you know, there will be a little bit of repetition in here, guys, so I apologize for that. It's how you create a community, right? It's how you get to know people. Ha 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 ha. See, I'm reading my chat. <laughs> that's where you can make friends. Uh, the amount of friends I have made from being in their streams, it happens. I had a son. I got given a son from chat engagement in my stream. I remember I was playing Alien Isolation. I still can't quite remember how it happened. I think it's uh, Creepy always said to me, Mother, exactly. Creepy said to me something like, Mammy was his mum. And I was like, I want to be your wife, Mammy. And so I adopted the son. That happened because I chatted with my stream. That didn't happen, I would never have had a son, right? I would be a mother without a child. <laughs> um, yeah, it's how you get to know your audience as well. Like, I've learned things about people. Uh, like, for an example, um, I had a guy come from my chat yesterday, uh, Incaria. I already say his name wrong, and I'm sorry. Um, he is making his own video game. Uh, and it's going to be a horror video game. And he told me a little bit about it, and he's like, oh, I'd really like you to, to test it. I was like, I'd love to do that. That'd be awesome. I learned that fact from simply chatting with him. You know, I wouldn't have known that if I just sat there staring at the game I was playing and not even talking to my audience. Mind blown. What, about what? Ah. <laughs> Look at the little banana emote there. Creepy emote there. I will have examples, by the way, guys, so it's not just going to be me and a load of text. So, first thing first, guys. Greet everyone that comes into your chat. Again, the only other exception is... If you're one of these massive streamers that are having constantly new people, even then, when they get a new follower, they usually uh, acknowledge it. So it seems simple, but you'd be surprised how many streams I go into and get completely ignored, especially if you're going into someone's stream uh, that's brand new. You've never been to their stream before. They don't know who you are. You're a complete stranger, right? Um, as a person who long time ago is in a situation of an exploding, unreasonable chat. Yeah, exactly. But at this point, guys, I think most of us can say... Uh, that we are smaller streamers and we don't have an explosive chat and we have time to read and acknowledge most of our chat. Um, so yeah, every person matters, so give them a big welcome. Welcome. I think that's really important as well because you will have streamers that will be like, oh yeah, hi, blah, 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 and then go back to the game. I'm like, like, yes, okay, you acknowledge me, but I didn't feel like you, you really did acknowledge me, if you see what I mean. Like, you just was like, oh, hi, cool. That's not welcoming someone into your stream. That is just being like, oh, hi. Okay, cool. I'm going to I'm gonna keep going with my game now. Look at that. I'm a controller. <laughs> uh, the way you guide the chat towards the subject actually works. Yeah, instruction mods to point things out to commit a topic on. And then pick some things and engage it. Yeah, so this is what's really important with, uh, with chat. And I'm not going to lie, Kaiser. I think a lot of us in here right now don't have mods constantly in our chat. And I know you'll say they're really important, and I, I do agree with you. But as a smaller streamer, it's really hard. It's really hard. It's really hard to have mods that uh, are always going to be in there. That's that's just my opinion again. But I agree what you mean. But until you've got dedicated mods in your chat, guys, you cannot rely on a mod also to engage with chat and keep it entertaining, right? You're the streamer. You're the entertainer. That's your job. Um, yeah. So when everyone comes in, make sure you give everyone a big welcome. Make everyone feel important. Ask them how they are. And I've got a little example here, guys. Let me know if you can hear it. It's a very short clip, so I can obviously replay it again. Um, great example is the one for the Nixter right here. I always put the acknowledgement there. Done. You can't see it. Hang on. Let me get rid of my camera for a second. Okay. There you go. Twitch.tv, the Nixter. So this is just a short example of how to properly greet someone. Sorry, we're still in the booming chat trying to shine some light on the subject. No worries, because no, no, no. Guys, you're all welcome. I know I'm here giving a talk and giving examples, but we all learn together. So if you want to throw in your opinions and stuff, you absolutely go for it, guys. Don't feel like you're buying in at all. Um, yeah, I agree with that, of course. Yeah, shout out to the Nixter. Yeah. 
bless him. He's it's probably his. Uh, he's probably only just woken up and feels well. What's the time for him? Eleven? Ten o'clock in the morning? Yeah, ten o'clock in the morning. But yeah, here we go. Let me know if you guys can hear it. It's Flemma. Now it's a party. How's it going, Flemma? Never put decoration or tree. There you go. Simple. Oh my gods. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out. <laughs> Simple. Hey, Flemma. Oh, it's a party now. Now the Flemma's it. Made me feel important. Made me feel special. Uh, made me feel like he cares that I'm there. You know, I think that's very, very important, guys. We have a few, by the way, a few clips in here. So we'll see some uh, little cameos, guys. Um, I mean, I don't know if you want me to put my webcam back up, but I will for now. <laughs> uh, cool. Right. Next one. Treat everyone equally. This kind of uh, fucking flirt as he is. <laughs> hey, I was told off a language, Kaiser. Behave. Kaiser makes me feel special. Exactly. Kaiser is a very good example as well. Guys, there's multiple good examples of people greeting people and making them feel special. Um, Kaiser's very good at that. He's got his little buttons that he presses. <laughs> He's like, beep, 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 we'll be in, da, da, da. Yes, Kaiser's very good at hyping and making people feel special. Definitely probably the first example I ever saw. I've been like, oh shit, I actually feel important. Like, I feel like, you know, I'm glad that this person's here. That will go back onto another point and I'll come up with later that I'll expand on. So guys, treat everyone equally. Okay. I know we all have our favourites, right? And we all do that. Uh, when a certain person comes in and tries to chat, we're like, oh my god. <laughs> you know, I do it too. But always make sure that everyone still feels important, right? No one should be more important than chat. Like, you might, you might internally feel, oh yeah, I'm really glad they're here. But everyone should still tr be treated equally, right? So make sure everyone knows in chat that they are important. There's nothing worse than feeling like you're being ignored. You know, you could go into someone's chat, especially if you're going to someone's chat uh, into their stream for the very first time, right? They don't know you, so to them, you're just a stranger. I've gone into chats and just been like, they've been, you know, oh, hi, because I'm a newbie, and then go back to chatting to the people that are regularly chatting, right? Really, really annoying, because I'm like, why am I less important than these people just because I'm new? Uh, people like you, Kaiser, and Nick take time to read everyone's chat and talk to everyone, and we thank you for that. Exactly. And I think, honestly, guys, for me personally as well, I will go into a lot of people's streams whose games that they're playing, I'm not necessarily interested in, right? But I will go for the chat. I would go to talk to that streamer. So you might be playing a game I hate. Good example, guys. I really don't like Call of Duty, right? I'm not a fan. However, Kaiser was playing it uh, a while back ago. And I was like, mm, God, I don't really like COD. Like, because he finally decided what he's going to play. And I'm like, oh, I'm not really a fan of Call of Duty. But we were having such a good chat. And he was having such good banter with his chat, including myself, that I stayed actually for quite a long time. Uh, also, I was watching him fail miserably at the game, which was also very entertaining. <laughs> uh, and I just love Creepy's voice and energy. Exactly. Yeah, see Irish accent. I'm not going to do it. I can't do Irish accent. <laughs> exactly. Um... Yeah, and we thank you for that. Cool. Just want to make sure I'm not missing any messages, guys. It's very important. So, yes, yeah, so, so whether someone's subbed, a friend, or new, make sure they're all treated like they matter and that, that you care and it comes across that you actually care that they're there, right? I love when Kaiser played drunk for a company. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then you mean drunk or like, yeah. Okay. I have a really important point that, again, I see a lot of the time. Um, not everyone chats. Okay. Um, so you'll get lur you'll get lurkers, and while some have different opinions on them, you should still treat them the same. Uh, some people may be watching and not chatting, and that's okay. Perfect example for me, guys, um, especially when it comes to the Nixter and Maddie. Say Maddie Gruden. They both kind of play at times where it's like five o'clock, six o'clock in the evening for myself, and it'll be time where I'm maybe getting dinner ready or doing some washing up, preparing for dinner. So what I will tend to do is I will put their stream on whilst I'm cooking. So although I'm not chatting, I'm still there, right? Um, so it's really important that just because you've got lurkers and maybe chat stops for a bit doesn't mean that people aren't watching and they don't want to be entertained. If chat stops, do not stop talking. Do not just sit there and be silent. I see that. People see, oh, okay, chat's died. I'll just stop talking uh, because no one's watching or like they don't really, they're not really there, right? It's almost like you assume that, um, that they're lurkers. Cool, they're lurking, they're not really watching. Cool, I'm not going to really put any effort in. No, because one, 
they might still be watching. They just might be doing other some like something else whilst watching, right? Like me, like cooking, or they uh, might be brand new, and they thought, you know what? Sometimes I've seen a lot of people that tend to like to watch a stream uh, for someone they they've just um, tuned into, and see what it's like before maybe following or even speaking up. Now those people are going to leave if you're just there silently, not uh, saying anything, because I'm like, oh, well, you know. Do not stop talking. Just because people don't chat doesn't mean they're there. Because the amount of times as well, guys, that I've been, for example, doing some washing up while watching a stream, um, and then something happens, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna stop and chat now. Because I am there. Uh, yeah, so very true, I do that quite a lot. Um, I like to watch Nick while I play chill game of poker. Yeah, people do that. The amount of times goes, well, let's be honest, we probably all do it where we are watching someone stream while playing a game. So we're not necessarily chatting, but we are still kind of there. And I think that's happened to me before. I think Creepy, for example, um, he he said like he was playing Destiny 2. He heard his name because he was watching my stream, but he was playing the game at the same time. He heard his name and he cropped up because he was there. He was watching. He just wasn't chatting. Um, yeah, so tip to get people out, involve them. Type 1 for a character, A, 2 for B, etc. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And a good example of that is, again, is, is Nick. He went... Um, what was the game he was playing yesterday? Like Two Point Hospital? Um, and he was... Although like when he plays Ty, um, Tycoon Roller Coaster... The roller coaster game. And uh, you could... He was naming different rides after people. I popped into chat and he'd already named a ride after me. And I was like, oh, awesome. It created chat. Um, I try to do that on moments in game. Like, I really don't want to go here. But chat, if you give me five rides. Yeah, exactly. Kaiser's a very good example. Uh, I think Maddie do it a lot as well. He'd be like, oh, guys, if you put blah, 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 emotes in chat, um, I'll do this or that, blah, 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 blah. And it's a really good way if people, like, don't necessarily want to chat, but they're like, I want to make this happen. Cool. I'm going to chat those emotes in there. And it creates, you know, something. It creates a moment, exactly. Um, yeah, so I think I talk too much and get annoying. Do you know what, Squid? <laughs> I feel exactly the same. I know exactly how you feel. Um, where you'll be in moments where chat is really quiet and not people, a lot of people are saying things and you feel like you're just talking and talking. You're like, I just feel like, why am I chatting? But I promise you, I promise you for examples that people are watching and they just might not be chatting. Then we'll talk to you later. All right, can someone uh, time out Kaiser, please, for that, uh, for that message, please? Yeah. Uh, I talk about hating and teasers. Yes, Squid, you said that in my stream yesterday. That was funny. Let's <laughs> see. I don't think talking too much is, uh, is a problem. You know, some people might not like it. I, d I don't get it, though. If you're watching a stream, you kind of want people to be talking and engaging with what's going on, right? I can't see how that would ever actually be a bad thing. Like, is, is anyone actually come into chat and been like, you talk too much? If they're doing it, they're trolling, like Kaiser. Or, I don't know. I think it's very rare for someone to be like, I don't like a stream where people talk too much. It's entertainment, guys. Uh, trust me, I wish I could. Yeah, and it's also... Uh, it is something that's going to take practice, guys. You can't shut me up right now uh, in my streams these days. <laughs> I don't shut up. But that has come with practice. Like, I started streaming years, probably like, uh, when I first moved into this place, so like three or four years ago. If you watch some clips from some of my earlier streams, I am shy. And I will admit, guys, sometimes having some chat happen will bring you out of your shell a bit. And sometimes you might go a little bit shy and a bit quieter if there isn't much chat. I can just mute you here. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, you love me, do you, Kaiser? Okay, even when... I still got... Yeah, I still got the pineapple behind me. But anyway, that's for another day. Uh, meanwhile, I'm always so shy and quiet. But the thing is, like... That's fine. If that's your style of stream. But you guys, it just takes practice as well. Um, you will find a lot of people who are quite loud on stream. So, like, for example, myself, I would say. Kaiser... Maybe not Kaiser. Kaiser's quite confident. But you will find a lot of people that are quite talkative on stream that in real life are actually quite shy. For example, I know he's not a streamer, but PewDiePie, he's obviously very loud, very confident on the stream. And I think the first time he went and did, like, something in public, he was super fucking shy. Um, so, you know, it will take practice and you you guys will get uh, get the hang of it and stuff. But, yeah, hopefully some other things I'm going to talk about will, uh, will help you with that. Um, so yeah, so I've been to plenty of streams where I'm tired and don't want to force conversation. This is another example, guys. Um, say you've just woken up, or you're about to go to bed soon, or you're just really quite tired. 
Especially if someone's got a, uh, a stream where there's not a lot of people talking. You might feel that if you start talking, you're going to have to keep the conversation going, right? Which is, again, something else I'm going to come up later. Some people just want to sit and watch. Again. This is kind of the same point, but some people just want to sit and watch. Some people don't necessarily want to chat. But that doesn't mean they're not sitting there and watching and enjoying your stream. So don't let people... That if there's no one chatting in your stream, I'm just saying don't let it... Um, put you off and then like stop talking because people will be there. Especially if you can see you've got viewers, you're like, well, there's people here. So they're obviously here for a reason. Anyway, yeah, still make sure you acknowledge these viewers. Yeah, exactly. So you might have like maybe like 10 people in the chat, no one's chatting. They're still there, still acknowledge them, but like, oh my God, guys, I can't believe this is happening. You know, because you know they're still there. All right, anyway, I'm going to move on to the next one. <laughs> okay, so keep chat engaged. Um, practice makes better. Yeah, exactly. Practice, it will, you know, it will, it will come to you. I promise you. The more you practice, the hopefully the easier it will come. And I will say as well, when you first start streaming, I am really nervous still at the beginning of every stream. It takes me a while to get into it and feel a bit more confident. So you know, don't worry. Um, yeah, cool. Kaiser's just going on about how he can mute me. I'm assuming that's Kaiser under Elite Team Community. <laughs> Um, you should have seen me when I was sitting there so nervous streaming to one viewer. I'm in Discord DMs with Kaiser stressing out when I get a 10 viewer raid from Nick. And my heart dropped. I was so scared. Oh, bless you, Squid. No, don't. You've got this. They've come to your stream because you're awesome. Remember that. People raid you, uh, especially when they're with the community, because they believe in you. Uh, I personally wouldn't bring my viewers to a stream that I don't think would be good. Remember that, guys. Mm. Right. So with that kind of carrying, on, carrying along, keep chat engaged. My biggest faux pas, there we go. Is that French? I think it's French. <laughs> so when streamers only talk to an audience when prompted by chat. I see a lot of people do it. I do it too sometimes. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, this is really annoying. I do it sometimes, but this is why you keep commenting on the game. You do not just sit there in silence if there's no chat. You, you, or you are the one that's supposed to be prompting chat. So you are the entertainer. Chat shouldn't be the one to keep it going, right? If you've got a load of people coming in, having a conversation amongst themselves, you're like, cool, yeah, there's lots of chats going on, right? If one or two of those people leave, your chat dies. You are the entertainer. You are the one that should be leading it, okay? You should be involved in that conversation. If they start talking about something amongst themselves, get involved in that conversation. It's your stream. You're the entertainer. Um, like I say, yeah, if you're the, if your chat are the ones leading the conversation, if someone leaves, the chat will die. It will die. Okay. It was just <laughs> dead. Eh. Um, so ask questions. This is my example. What have you been up to? What do you think of the game? Um, especially when you've got new streamers coming in. How are you doing? Where are you from? What games do you play, for example? Um, and also what you can do, and I'm going to start doing this myself as well. Get a list of things you can ask people. Think about what's going on in the world that's maybe not too controversial. You know, fun things like games that are coming out, movies coming out, things like that. Put them on the side, but like, okay, cool. I can ask people about that to like keep chat going. You're the one of the one. You are the one of one. Ooh, 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 honey. Calm down, Kaiser. <laughs> Kaiser left chat. So yeah, ask questions. Constantly comment on what's going on in the game. I feel like, you know, I do, I feel like I do that quite well. So even when chat is, uh, is dead, I still, still keep commenting on the game because you never know when someone new is going to come into your stream or even just people coming into your uh, stream. Uh, so you like friends of yours that just popped into the stream. If you're just sitting there not saying anything, like they're going to leave. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I do that. If someone, if I go into someone's stream and they're just sitting there not saying anything, I leave. I'm like, why am I here? <laughs> Hashtag blame Kaiser. Exactly, guys. <laughs> How you doing, Destruction Chicken? Welcome in. Hebby love me. Ah, no. Hebby's my other wife. Okay, so here's a good example, guys. So just so you can see, hang on, let me just quickly get rid of, so you can see what I've put. So, just to give you a bit of context, guys, so I'm just going to play this clip from the St. Matty Gluden. Okay, at the time of this clip, so I found this clip myself, at the time of this clip, Matty hadn't had any new messages for two minutes, and yet he never stopped commenting on the game. Okay, so it's like I full screen this. is super loud in my headset. Not good. 
difference 15 gain three each turn when shrunk i don't care i don't care i want to look good and fancy and looking good and fancy means not oh not using uh gnome hat instead i am elf boy i guess i gotta go up i don't think there's anything else there's a pokemon back here that i'm fucking missing i hope to god not see he did not stop talking Right, because I was in his stream, I was watching it, um, I was doing something at the time, I couldn't comment, right? Also, <laughs> very awkward moment in the game for me to find a clip, but it was funny. He didn't stop talking, he was constantly commenting on the game, even though I was there and there was no new messages. Because he's the entertainer, and, you know, he needs to still continue to comment on the game. He's making it interesting, right? He's creating entertainment. I have enough love for both of you, okay. Plan at one point on no one talks in stream, what? There can be funny moments if you don't talk, in my opinion. What do you mean? I mean, if, if it's like a reactionary thing, maybe, if that's what you mean. Give me an example, uh, please, Kaiser. Matthew's Pog. Exactly. Matthew's probably one of the best examples I could think of. Even better than Kaiser. I said it, all right? He never stops talking. He's always commenting on the game. He's keeping it interesting. So it would get wrecked and you sit there, watch the webcam for a minute or zoom in and use facial. Yeah, okay. Yes, facial expressions. That's an example. I did that yesterday. I finished the end of the game. I won't say what it is or what happened. I was in shock. I was shook. And for about 30 seconds, I was like... But that was still creating what I would call <laughs> entertainment because I was still doing something. I wasn't just sitting there in silence. Like there was reactions, there was, you know. No Flemmer, I disagree. Disagree on what, Foops? <laughs> That's still engaging with chat though. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hey, Kezzity, welcome in, welcome in. How you doing? I missed the end of the game, Flemmer. That's all right. You up there too, Flemmy. I mean, yeah, that's that's what I mean. Like, I, I feel like if I'm going to say anything I do well, I would say that's, for me personally, I feel like I'm quite good at constantly commenting on the game. Um, Adobe Flash Player, go the fuck away. Jesus Christ. No, sorry, guys. Sorry, this, I can't see chat. <laughs> that's another thing, guys. I'll come up to that point later. If there's moments where you can't look at chat, address it with chat. There we go. Rigged! Oh, God. God, don't creepy want it again? Right, Kaiser, sort that shit out. That's not unacceptable. But yes, keep trying to engage. Boom. Like the moaning is oh. super loud in my headset. That's Maddie again. Sorry, Maddie. Oh, wait, is it gone? Oh, it's not gone full screen. Hang on. Uh... Oh, what's going on? I broke it. I broke it. It's fine. I'll fix it. Don't worry, guys. What do we get to? Ah. Uh, like the moaning. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Professional clip didn't send. What's that? What's the clip? What did? Wait, Creepy's message got deleted. That's amazing. La la la. Is this scary? Singing some songs and so. <laughs> Rigged. Can we get? Yeah, exactly. Really good thing, guys. If you uh, have highlighted stream or anything like that, you do hashtag. Everyone's like, I do it. I'm like hashtag rigged when it's someone that I don't like. Wait, what is that? Check out this clip. That wasn't me. I'm so wait. So someone else. I think it was probably. Let's say it was Foops. I'm gonna go with Foops. Elite team community banned him. Jesus. It was elite team community. I mean, I'm pretty sure that was Kaiser. Anyway, guys. Right, kids. Behave, teacher. I'm not ruler, but yeah, you get the point. Okay. This is a really, really big thing for me. Okay. You said it. I did. You said fix it, I did. All oh, right. <laughs> Best flammer clip. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, be careful what you play. Okay. Chat, for me personally, and I think for most people, is so important. And playing certain games won't allow you to chat a lot, right? For example, the, the biggest example of this is FPS games, okay? So, your Call of Duties, your Apex, that sort of thing. Because those sort of games tend to require a lot of focus on the game, right? Which means you can't talk to chat. <laughs> I forgot I put this in this. <laughs> I forgot I put this in here. If you if you have really good aim, unlike Creepy, 
Uh, and can entertain from gameplay that alone, that's great. But a lot of people come in streams to chat with you. So you will have people that play uh, these FPS games that are so... These, these again, are the exceptions from the rule. Their gameplay is so good that people are there for the gameplay, not necessarily for chat, right? In those instances, it's fine. But for most small streamers, you need to engage with chat. Um, now again, guys, this is my opinion. If you want to play, I'm not saying don't play FPS games, guys. You play exactly what you want to play, what you love. But what I'm saying is you are going to fall on chat engagement if you do play these sorts of games. But then, you know, if your gameplay is more important than your chat, but then, you know, you will find these sort of streams that play FPS games, uh, people come in for the gameplay, which is fine. Again, guys, I'm just saying this now. This is my opinion. I'm not throwing any hate or any shade or be like, don't play these sorts of games. I'm just saying be aware that playing these games will mean it's difficult to uh, engage with chat. Um, but yeah, if you do have a moment in game where you have to focus, make sure to acknowledge this with your audience that you'll come back to chat and check their messages. So for example, I was playing Resident Evil 4 like a few weeks ago. There was a moment that did require a lot of concentration. And what I did was I said to chat, I was like, I'm really sorry chat, I'll be right with you. I just have to kill these motherfucking zombies. <laughs> um, yeah, Creepy is a legend. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> Ah, oh, stop, guys. Oh, what's it? Because I, yeah. In fairness, guys, Creepy has seen this presentation. He knows that I did that. That wasn't that mean. He's aware that this is in the presentation. <laughs> I may have pinned the creepy part in Discord. What? <laughs> he's hot too. I mean, let's not go too far. I mean, he's my son, so he's obviously got good genes. From what? Just so. Uh, but I know you have to entertain your chat, but I want to play stuff. Yeah, guys, th this is an opinion, okay? I'm not saying do not play FES games. Okay, that's not what I want to say. I don't want people being like, oh god, wait, what? Because that's a lot of games. That's fair enough. Um, I'm just saying be careful with how often you play them because it will mean that you're not able to chat uh, with chats much. It's just to get, again, like I'm saying, guys, it's just an opinion. Um, oh god, this fucking clip. Okay, another thing that will help you with chat engagement, your channel points. Your channel points are there. They're your friends. Exactly, like I say there. They are your friends. They are there to help uh, your channel and uh, give you things to, I'm not explaining this for to do, you know, to create engagement, to create entertainment, to create fun. Um, so they should be used to create better content and can definitely help you create chat. For example, I have a jumping jack for redemption. Uh, it's there to get me to exercise, but it usually gets people talking, especially if you're new, you're like, what the fuck? And people find it funny as well, especially to spam it because I will literally just <laughs> be out of breath basically so here's an example of baron boom boom uh so he's a redemption where he puts on a panda head people will always spark up in chat when it uh when it goes that makes no sense when he does it right so mainly ask him what's going on in this example though uh and i remember because i was playing with him at the time someone had redeemed his panda head uh he's taken his glasses off that was another pa channel point redemption and he was only allowed to play with I think it was like, yeah, I think it was one hand, right? <laughs> and it creates absolute chaos, but it creates entertainment. It creates uh, chat and because it's a fun moment and people want to, yeah, get involved in it. From his daddy. Wait, what? Uh, I'm your son in law, Flemily. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, God, Baron's bearhead. Okay, so I'm going to have to turn this down because it might actually be quite loud. So we'll just go off one hand, hand, no glass. One hand. There we go. Because uh, I remember there's a moment where I think I'm quite loud in this. <laughs> so I'm just going to tighten it down for a second. One hand, no glasses. There you the go. One hand I'm using is my bad hand. Um, <laughs> and the bare head. The thing is, for usually... Mm. Hang on, sorry guys. I just realised my... Ah. Sorry, one second. I'm just going to get rid of my face so you can see the clip properly. One hand, there we go. no glasses... And it's his the birthday, exactly. My bad hand. Um, I wonder who we're raiding. And <laughs> the thing is, For usually I'd be like, that's hilarious. But that's uh, that's kind of fucking me over. So yeah, that, that's yeah. going to affect me, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, dear. I don't think the missus gives you shit. <laughs> the missus is giving you shit. No, the missus oh. doesn't give a shit whether or not it affects you again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, but, uh, did she yeah. do it? Did she redeem it? Yeah, so it goes yep. a bit chaotic oh. here, I think. Uh, so I should have maybe cut this clip down a bit. <laughs> I am absolutely, I mean... 
Oh god, I was about to say all I can do is hope that my teammates oh, keep me alive, but then I realised half my teammates are Flemma, so... <laughs> Not half. Oh no! Oh no, run away! Run away! <laughs> oh, you're kidding me! <laughs> I think that's what made that moment even better was that uh, just as he, yeah, so he had one hand, no glasses, whatever, and uh, he, uh, and we got we got tank. It was hilarious. Also, I think that was the moment where, uh, hang on, where do I get uh, professional streamer right here? Uh, it was also the moment that uh, Foops dropped into our game and uh, died immediately. <laughs> we only suddenly realised he was there. Why is it? No, no, stop, stop, stop. For some reason, Jesus Christ! Right, hang on. Why is it? Go full screen. <laughs> Sorry, one second, guys. Oh, I know what's happened. Okay, for some reason, it just yeah. Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I should you not, but then I remember the stream from Flemmer and didn't. Wait, what? <laughs> I want to go live today. Um. Ah, oh, thanks, Kaiser. Kaiser's actually gonna go live today. I miss your face, Flamma. Thanks, Heavy. I miss you too, Heavy. I start to forget what you look like, but you're looking at my face right now. <laughs> it's this. <laughs> All right, guys. Cool. Next one. All right. Now, another important point, guys. Do not just read chats. Engage with chats. Again, the amount of times I go into a stream. And it will be kind of like, a, I've written this down, takes me back to SM, uh, SMM, SMM, that's not what I mean at all, MSN, very different. <laughs> I'm just forgetting what, Ka oh, what Kaiser looks like, yeah, who knows. Uh, streamer, by the way, wait, what's that destruction chicken? What? Hashtag Bone Foops, what's Foops done now? This was hilarious, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, what, me fucking up the music, yeah, yeah, hello, oh, what, the SMM, yeah. Isn't that Rihanna's song? S S S N M M M. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so when someone comes into a chat and I'm like, "Hi," you go, "Hello." They're like, "How are you?" Good. Cool. You go back to your chat. You've got to engage with your chat, as in, don't just read the message. Create a conversation from it. So you can't just office. Uh, so. You now you can't do this with every single message, but with the majority of messages, try to create a conversation out of it. So someone's like, oh yeah, I've had like a bad day at work. And I'd be like, oh my God, what happened at work? You know, like, is your boss an a-hole, whatever. Create a conversation from it. Don't just read the chat. Engage with it. Create conversation. Otherwise, like, you know, you, they, it's almost like these people are not just saying this for the hell of it. They want to talk to you. Engage with them. Create the conversation for it. So yes, yeah, so most people say hi and you say hi back and ask how they're doing. Takes me back to MSN days. Not us and them. Uh, but sometimes after that, everything goes quiet. So you remember the whole, hi, hi, how are you? Good, you? Yeah, good, thanks. Um, what about you? What have you been up to? Not much. You? Yeah, not much. End of conversation. Now, I don't know if you guys ever had MSN. I don't know if you guys are too young for that. But that's, that would be it. And then the, the conversation would die um, and then you'd you'd leave and do something else. Start a conversation with them. If it's a new viewer, ask, like I said from earlier, if you've got a new viewer coming in, ask where they're from. Do they stream? What sort of games do they play? I think a new viewer is like the best opportunity to get a conversation going because you can get to know them and create so much chat from it. So yeah, if there's someone you know, you could ask them about... Um, doesn't make any sense, okay? I haven't proofread this. There's someone you know, ask them about something that you know about them. So, for example, um, oh yeah, for, for example, I could ask Nick, Nick about the Super Bowl. Relevant when I was writing this, because I did this about a month ago's presentation. Uh, Kaiser's very good at this. He knows this, uh, the people who come to his chat very well. So he doesn't just go, how are you? He'll be like, I don't know, if he was talking to me, I'm buying a house at the moment. He'd be like, maybe, how's the house buying going? Have you seen any houses yet, for example? Create a conversation. Don't just um, just say hi back. Oh, for goodness sake. God damn it. Wipe her. Thank Kaiser. Uh, I think Kaiser then thinks simple model. <laughs> okay. Now that's Kaiser's face. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I need to Google MSN. I've never heard about that. Now your community is 100% uh, good tip. What? No, you can Oh, no, you community. He's put never, 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 community. <laughs> 
So here's an example of a clip, right? Someone said, um, I think it was Nick that started it. I actually, sometimes I can't remember how it started. But someone said about, I should create an OnlyFans. Uh, and I, I literally had a fan. It, she's right next to me right now. Can you see it? And I made a joke. And I brought a fan into the joke. And I was like, haha, this is my fan. I created something from what something said. Uh, so I think actually this clip is from when Creepy raided me after his charity stream. You know what, I'm not going to full screen it, because last time I did that, it went all funny. But let's get rid of my face. Yeah, there you go. Creepy raids. <laughs> These are my fans. Welcome in to my OnlyFans. <laughs> Hello, Creepy. Hello, Sam. Do you like See? my fans? Greeting people. Naughty, aren't I? <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. But the example there is someone talked about fans. I made a joke of it. And now it's become a whole thing to the point now when Nick comes into my stream, he asks me how my OnlyFans is. It's it's almost made a meme out of it, you know? Because I engaged with it. I didn't just read the chat and go, cool. I engaged with it. I created conversation. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, it's foops. That's fine. Showing your son your OnlyFans. Hey. Well the, well, the thing was, is I'm holding these two fans, he raids my channel, and I had to explain what was going on. <laughs> so, here's another good point. What have I come back to? I disappear for a bit. Uh, don't, don't worry. Let's just skip over that, Kessity. All I was saying in my last point was, uh, don't just read chat, engage with it. Don't just read physically the messages that happens. Create conversation from it. Uh, I haven't got one in a while. Get on her. Yeah, no, Foops, that's not, that's not, uh, that's not a Briggs. I, I feel like Foops deserves that. All right, guys. Uh, with Lemon, as much as I would like to stay and watch Kaiser bully you, I have to go, so you have a good stream. No worries, Squid. Thank you so much for coming by. That's another thing, guys. When people leave, don't just go, cool. Say so thank you for coming by. I hope to see you again. Have a lovely day. You know, treat them like a, an actual human being, not just someone online. I think that's a really important thing as well. People for these people. So I have someone chatting in my chat. That's, that's a human being behind that. Those messages. Right? An actual person. There's not just some person that just popped by and messages. They're an actual human being. You know, wish them a good day. I always say that to everyone who leaves. Like, have a good rest of your day. Usually I'll say good morning, evening, night. Because obviously people are all in different time zones. <laughs> uh, no, Squid, you do what you want, Squid. Don't listen to Kaiser. Okay. Um, yeah, there's no accurate except when I, that's so accurate except when I play with Baron. <laughs> exactly. Cool. Yeah. So, playing games online, games? I don't know what a game is. I know what a game is. Playing games online with friends. Now, if you, a lot of streamers like to play games online with friends. That's absolutely fine. Which is great. But not necessarily always ideal when streaming. Unless you do it right. Okay? And when I say that, you have to find a good balance. Okay? Make sure that you're still talking with chat while still paying attention to your friends, okay? I've been on both sides of this. On one side, I've come into someone's chat who's playing online with someone. And because they're playing online with someone, they weren't really looking at chat. I think it took, I actually timed it, it took about seven minutes. Which is actually quite a long time for someone to hang around before they even spoke to me. And I was like, I get you're playing online with your friends, but you're streaming to people. Oh, I think it's closed again. Oh, I know why. You're streaming with people. You're streaming out to people. You're streaming out to an audience. I understand you're playing online with your friend. But your audience is probably more important. Um, so you need to find the right balance. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, on the other end, don't ignore your friends. Because I've been on that uh, example as well, right? I was playing, uh, I won't say who. They're not here, it's fine. I was playing Left 4 Dead uh, with some, uh, online with some friends. This wasn't with Baron, by the way. This was a, another time. And they were constantly talking to chat. They completely ignored us. And I was like, why on earth are you playing with us if you're not going to talk to us? It was really rude. To the point where uh, I got into the safe room with everyone else but them. Uh, they got attacked and I was like, you know what? Let them die. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even know they died because they weren't even paying attention to the game. Right? So, you need that balance of acknowledging your friends still, but also very much acknowledging chat, okay? And it's doable. It's, it's easily done. 
This isn't something that's actually that difficult to do, guys. I think what you need to realize, though, when you're doing this is that you're going to have to sometimes sacrifice gameplay, right? That's something I've realized as well. I would rather have a good conversation with my chat, uh, make sure that I'm paying attention to them, than do really well in a game, right? And I think that's a little bit controversial because some people are like, I'd rather be good at the game. That's fine. I'd rather sacrifice a kill and get killed and make sure that I'm, paying, I'm not ignoring my chat. I think Kai's is a very good example of this. Um, I don't know what we were playing. Maybe we were playing Fall Guys or something. But I think he... Uh... <laughs> oh, sorry, I was just trolling you. Go and do school. Yeah, leave Squid alone. I actually did have a food, food uh, posing for a few days, but I started feeling better last night. Food posing. Oh, no. I say I love Angry Games. Sometimes we forget his stream. Sometimes he's to talk to his friends. But we all do it. I've, I've also done it. I was playing... Um... I think it was Fall Guys or Phasmo. But this is where, like, if you're playing a game, you know what, in Phasmo, I think I got killed because I was talking to chat. I didn't care because I was more worried about paying attention to my chat than doing well in the game. I was like, so what? I died. I'll, I'll get over it. I'm making sure that I'm paying attention to my audience. Um, much love, Kaiser. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thank you for hanging out, Squid. Much appreciate. You, could, you do what you've got to do. Completely ignore Kaiser. Don't listen to anything he says. But yeah, so get the right balance. By the end of the day, chat should be more important. So make sure your chat is still your priority. If you're not a chat, you might as well play offline. You know, you might as well play offline with your friends if you're not going to uh, pay attention to chat. Uh, yeah, so I've got into streams. But, okay, so I said hello. It's taking six minutes before I was acknowledged. People will leave. If you were just playing with your friends and that's more important to you, people will leave. They're like, why am I sticking around? One tip I will say, guys, if you're playing online with your friends, uh, especially if your friends aren't streamers, before you start streaming, just acknowledge with them, hey guys, I am streaming it, um, and so I'm going to need to be paying attention to chat. So I will have time from talking to them. I think that's also really important to let them know because sometimes um, I've gone into streams where the streamer's talking to the audience, and then the person they're streaming with will suddenly like be like, oh, um, they'll, like, they'll, they'll start getting involved in the conversation, which I don't mind, but it can be a little bit annoying, a little bit off-putting from the audience. Hey, dang, thank you so much for the sub to a lead team community. Let's go. Much appreciated, man. Can we get some hype? Thank you for the support to our wonderful community. We appreciate it. Much appreciated, sir. Okay, I can't remember how... I don't think there's much... Hey, look at his... There's his little face. There's his little face. There you go, Hebby. There's his face. Now you can remember what he looks like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, look at that, you guys. All right, guys. So, probably one of the most important things here, guys. I keep saying that every time at every point. They're all really important, to be honest. Be genuine. Do not be fake. You must care for your community, okay? Um, sh yeah, show that you care, that you give a damn about these people. Don't treat them like they're bots. Behind every message that gets sent to you in chat, guys, like I said, is a human being with a brain, with an interest, that have taken their time to come into your chat. And that's a big deal. That's why it's so frustrating when people get ignored in chat. I've gone in streams. It's so frustrating because it's like, I'm a human being using my time to come to your stream. If you ignore me, it pisses me off. <laughs> Especially when you know it's on purpose, right? You can tell sometimes that someone's a bit distracted, fine. But you're just like, I've seen, actually I've been into some streams, what's even worse guys, if you go into a stream and they look at the screen and say they looked at your message and just ignored me. Oh, I was livid, Flabber was mad. This feels so weird. Oh, on so many levels. Santa Claus. I mean, he's still ginger. Ginger. So hot as fuck. <laughs> ginger Claus. I'm so mad I missed the stream. When was, I mean, this was at Christmas time. This is like, holy shit, like two months ago. Santa Claus streaming using Kaiser's stuff. <laughs> Who is this man pretending to be Kaiser? <laughs> uh, I don't ignore. I'm so anxious about talking that I appreciate people talking so much. It helps me a lot. But that's the thing, guys, as well. If you are very anxious about talking on stream, let people know. Put it as like a, something that you can put as a, a thing on your chat book, right? Every now and then it'll pop up and say, sorry if I'm not reading as much chat or not speaking up as much. Because if that's your kind of style, that's fine. But I think you need to then, on the other hand, make people aware 
that you're not that talkative um and so they know kind of what they're getting uh christmas time now nah, just like at easter <laughs> hey guys he's trolley dressed like that right now all right so have a genuine interest in people's lives people will be able to tell if you don't care uh i've gone into streams again i've said that and i'm like you don't really give a shit you know when people actually care right here's an example let me just get rid of my face so you can see kaiser's face more uh, it's him and his- damn it, how did you know? <laughs> oh god. I was re damn, that's a lot of uh, things in an hour though, right? <laughs> I love taking the interest in people's lives so people seem to be nosy. Well, th that that's that's kind of their fault, if they think you're being nosy. Guys. Right, so pay attention to what he actually says, okay? Because that's what's actually important to me in this clip and I watched this and I was like, okay, what's weird? What, hearing your voice? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Asking questions means that you get to know people. Like, obviously, if you ask certain questions, like I think a guy went into one of these female streamers and be like, what underwear are you wearing? That is probably a step too far, guys. Don't ask people about their underwear. <laughs> but generally, you know, if you're asking general questions that you would ask, you know, a stranger in real life, you just don't get to know them. All right. So pay attention to what he says. Guys, I am super excited to announce that after my first baby called Hugo, uh, a very pretty little boy, my wife and I are happy to announce that we are going to expand our family with another baby. And the gender of that baby, my dearly beloved people in chat, in the Rye Bar, I love you so much. And it's going to be... A boy! We got another boy! Whoop, whoop. All right, we don't need to see him dance. That's enough. So, <laughs> I love guys so underwear is wearing. That's because he asked for it, guys. All right, hang on. Guys. Damn it, I broke it again. Damn it! Oh, I know why. There we go. I don't know why it does that. It's really annoying. Okay, so, what's really important there, guys, is that he says, obviously, he was doing, like, a big announcement. He was showing someone something with his community um and you could tell in his voice and what he was saying that he actually cares about the guys in his discord the guys in his community right that he says oh i love you guys you know i'm so excited to share this news with you because he actually cares about these people if he didn't give a shit about his discord or his community he wouldn't bother telling them he'd be like yeah, that's fine like they didn't need to know but he cares about his community he was like i want to share this wonderful news with them and you could tell that you could tell he actually cares about these people and his community which is probably most of you guys here like he cares about guys he loves us he told it got fucking proof he ever trolls you and be like ah i hate you flamma he's like ah oh, you're such a troll <laughs> no you don't bish you love me okay you love all of us um <laughs> yeah so he's so excited in that clip exactly and he's not you can tell he's not being fake he's i mean he should be excited he's having another beautiful baby boy but like he's actually yeah you can tell like he cares he gives a shit about his community and this is why he's got a great community um because everyone cares about one another everyone wants to support one another everyone wants the best for one another guys and that's what you want in your community you want guys people that you're friends that you care about that you get to share like this exciting news okay me for example i'm still waiting for my ring from the one downstairs i guarantee you guys as soon as i get engaged i will let you guys know because i fucking love you guys i know obviously i'm streaming on the elite team community but that is the sort of news that i'll be like oh my god i can't wear to uh, can't wait to share this news just you know i need to get the fucking move on um you caught me exactly you only need three more children because of a fine sign amazing um you better say no and run off with me heavy heavy's gonna run off with me guys okay just saying okay guys nope. i am super nope. excited to nope. announce guys how do i move on here we go okay so we're always uh okay i think i've kind of said this point already yeah uh, if people are engaged, it doesn't mean people aren't watching. I'll just go over this briefly because we kind of already said this. People will come in and out of chat. Just because people aren't chatting doesn't mean people aren't there, guys. Always keep the, the entertainment going. Keep commenting on the game. Keep talking to people like no one's there. I think that's another thing, guys. If you've got one viewer 
You should treat that one viewer like it's 30 people. Or if you have zero viewers. <laughs> I see a lot of memes when it's like people are like, okay, thanks for hanging out, guys, and it's like zero viewers. Whether you've got 30 viewers or one viewer, you should act like you have a big audience because that's how... That's what you're doing. You're still streaming. Even if there's not physically people watching, you're still... Think about it as like you're in a big hall right? and you've got one person in there. You still want to do that big presentation because if people then come in, you still want to be giving just as good presentation, just as good entertainment as if there was no one in the room, right? You're not going to bring people into the room if you're not doing anything, you're not engaging, uh, you're not entertaining, you know? Um, oh yes, receiving rates. So this is something I'm still kind of personally having to practice. So, <gasps> Mammy! Hi, wifey! How you doing, lovely? <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Dan, is that you with the Master Chief's helmet on? That is freaking awesome. Just saying. When you have zero viewers, treat it as a practice. Exactly. Exactly. But sometimes having zero viewers, you're right, is like the best time to like be like, right, okay, I'm going to try and chat. I'm going to practice and stuff. Um... Because I guess you can feel less pressured because you know there's no one there. But yeah, treat it like... So, sometimes people have started saying that they um, they turn off the viewership number so they don't know how many people are viewing. And it helps because you can just do the best that you can do without knowing there's people there or not. You're just like, you're like, oh, I don't know if there's people there, but there could be people there. So I'm going to be the best me I can be. I mean, it's in the moat that I made, but it's not me. It's the cute guy now. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. <laughs> I love it. That's amazing, Dan. Awesome. <laughs> so yes, receiving raids, guys. So this is something I'm still personally trying to improve on uh, myself as well. But when people raid you guys, make sure to address your new viewers and special people that's raided you, okay? Uh, introduce yourself, talk about your brand, what you play, etc. Because, you know, you can be like, okay, so I'll be like, oh, Creepy's raided me. Oh, cool. Thanks, Creepy. Thank you so much. Now I know the creepy knows who I am, he knows what I play, what style of games I play for example. But that doesn't mean there's people in his uh, viewership that do. There could be people that were in his stream that come into my stream that don't know who, they don't know who the hell I am. They don't know what I stream, they don't know what I play. I mean they could look down on my page but they shouldn't have to look on my page. I as the entertainer should be showing off my brand and what I do. So, okay so I can hear someone talking. <laughs> So, when someone comes into uh, your raid, you want to make sure you're addressing everyone, not just the person that's raided you. So I'd be like, Hi Creepy, thank you so much, son, for the raid, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Flamma, guys, if anyone's new to the stream, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming by, I really appreciate it. Uh, my name's Flamma and I play spoopy games all the time, and I don't know why, because... I like being scared for some reason. Okay, that's an example. That was completely improvised. That's what I try to do, right? Welcome in the new viewers. Show what sort of games you play, what sort of style, kind of, you know. Because that's you promoting yourself. And you're more likely to get followers and people stay if they know what to expect. Rather than just someone just sat there playing a game. They can be like, oh cool, they're talking to me as well. Awesome. I'm still working on my intro and stuff. Yeah, uh, everybody knows Flema. <laughs> Not everyone. <laughs> Because you do, you'll get, you'll have new viewers coming to other people's stream. They come along with the raid. You've got new people. Um, you know, because I think that's the problem as well. You will find that a lot of people. Uh, it's a, it's okay to ignore new followers and play hard to get. Logic. <laughs> Biscuit looker, amazing name, amazing name. What kind of biscuits do you like? There we go. See, I'm engaging the chat. What kind of biscuits? You know, what I've got at the moment. In fact, I've got them right here, guys. Jaffa cakes, but. Their passion fruit flavour. This is now sponsored by Jaffa Cakes. It's not. <laughs> uh, thank you, Hobnobs, for the win. Ah, oh, chocolate Hobnobs or plain Hobnobs. Also, weird question. Do, do you guys put biscuits in the fridge, right? Especially chocolate digestives. My sister started putting them in the fridge. I was like, that's weird. But then I realised, actually, when they're cold, they're really good. Really good. Anyway, guys. So, yes. Braids. Uh, you never know who's going to come across the raid. I think a lot of us guys in this community... Okay, no, Jaffa Cakes are cakes. No, I agree with you. I agree. They are cakes. These are cakes. They're not biscuits. I agree. I agree. It's, it's almost like a... It's always a debate, isn't it, whether Jaffa Cakes are cakes or biscuits. It's cake. And I'll tell you why. When cakes go off, they go hard. When biscuits go off, they go soft. Jaffa Cakes go hard. Ergo cake. There we go. 
but you didn't think you'd see that today. <laughs> so I'm actually, uh, I'm distracting enough. No, it's okay. This is what I mean, guys. I know we're here to learn, but this is, this is learning in itself. I'm engaging with chat. I'm here doing what I'm meant to do. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Raise. Yes. So I think especially within our community, guys, uh, we, most of us in the elite team community will probably receive raids from other people in the community. And I think the thing that comes with that is that we will probably expect those people coming into our stream to be people from the community, right? And so the assumption is that, okay, all these people in this raid uh, are people that I know. That's not always the case. And I think that's something that I need to stop getting out of. Just because we're getting a raid from someone from the community doesn't mean that everyone in that stream is from the community. There could be brand new people in there. Um, I had someone, I had a raid um, from uh, Nick and, oh, I feel really bad. I can't remember her name. Uh, Tala, Tala, right? She came from Nick's uh, stream. Uh, I think, I think the fairness, she did meet me a little bit before because I was in his stream, but I got a raid from Nick. Bet it's one of our streamer called Tala. And she was like stuck around for like the rest of my stream. And now uh, she comes along into a lot of my streams and she's lovely and it's so nice having her there. If I hadn't have like addressed everyone and properly engaged with all the new people, she probably wouldn't have stuck around. She probably would have left. And I wouldn't have blamed her. So when you receive a raise, guys, please make sure to make sure you address everyone, especially if there's new people, okay? Not just the people. Because I feel a lot of people will just thank the person that's raided them. But don't address the viewers that come with them. Okay, you're not just getting one new viewer. You will get quite a few. Obviously, it depends on the size of the raid, okay? Another really important thing, guys, to get more chat in your stream. Go and chat in other streams. <laughs> now, I know people who uh, don't do this. Again, obviously, I've, I've only given examples of good examples. I'm not going to call anyone out. People will come to your stream. Sometimes because you go and support them and chat and hang out with them in their stream. Great example, Kaiser. He probably goes to most of our streams. And when he eventually comes back to stream, we'll be there for him. Because he comes to chat with us, so we want to go chat with him. You Sometimes you give what you... What's the expression? You give what you take? You get what you give. That's the expression. You will get what you give. If you go and chat and hang out with people, get to know them in their streams, they are more likely to come and make that effort and come to your stream, okay? Especially if you've got people that maybe don't even like the games necessarily that you play, but if you've gone and chat with them in their stream, they will come along because you support them, you've chatted and got to know with them, they're gonna sort of wanna, they're gonna wanna come along and chat with you in your stream. It's one of the best ways I can think of, guys, to create chat. Is to go chat on other streams. Go go meet some new people. Like, are you like a particular game? Go and find some smaller streamers. <clears throat> Maybe not the bigger streamers, because obviously you might not get seen. Go some smaller streamers that play the same game that you play. Chat with them. Create some sort of bond. And then, you never know. They may then come back to your stream. Um, and hang out with you, and you might get a new follow from it. You know, it's kind of the, the number one rule when it comes to streaming and growing is uh, networking. And that is, again, it's just another way to get chat in your stream. People want to come and hang out and chat with you if you've gone and chat with them. Whenever he does come back to streaming, yeah. Hey, Disney Dad, welcome in to, uh, to the stream, man. How are you doing today? Is that Woody? I love it. Good old Woody. Ah, that's the end. I forgot to do a question. Okay. That's actually the end. Uh, that's about an hour. Okay. Guys, are there any questions uh, before we end today? And we'll go... And then, I don't know if Creepy or Kaiser wants to find someone to raid. Uh, please. Pretty please. Uh, but yeah. If anyone's got any questions before we go... Oh, I've been leaning on one of my legs and out's dead. Oh, it hurts. I missed one thing and all of this. What's that? Bear in mind that a lot of this presentation I kind of wrote out uh, as it came to me because some of it, some of it's obvious. How about alerts? What well, as in like your follower alerts and things like that? Would that engage chat? What do you mean? I need you to expand on that, Kaiser. 
Hey guys there, well, how you guys doing? I'm doing good. I'm glad you're good. How was your... Okay, well, let Kaiser explain because I, I don't know. <laughs> Are you talking about like text to talk? Talk to text? Text to, I don't know, the, the robot lady that's um, talks over messages. There we go. Wait for it. We're going to get another little essay from Kaiser. <laughs> Alerts can be default things or personal items to make sure they fit your brand. I agree. Okay, so alerts can be default things or personalize you uh, to make them fit with the brand channel and community. Yes. Um, for example, follow alert can explain the right button. Yeah, so obviously personalized alerts can help with your brand. But what's does that, how does that correlate to chat engagement is my question to you, Kaiser. You want to show an example? I can show you. Okay. Are you going to do the... Yeah, because I'm not actually logged into this channel, guys. <laughs> uh, text to speech. That's the one. Thank you, Disney. Dad. <laughs> that can create chat, I guess, the text to speech. Uh, that's something that I've recently uh, put onto my channel. Unless people absolutely spam it. Because it explains what the community they're entering does. Okay, yeah. So, obviously, yeah, your alerts can help explain a bit more about your brand and what you do uh, for new viewers. For example, my community is the right bar. Yeah, but how does that correlate to chat engagement? That's my only question. <laughs> okay, there. Okay. Does anyone else have any other questions uh, before we go? Well, ever well, whilst we wait, how's everyone doing? It's Friday today, isn't it? Woo! I, I say woo Friday, but my working week starts tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm working on weekends, so it's, it's uh, less of a, a good thing for me. But what is that? And then hopefully trigger them into asking the question. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess it comes into your branding as a whole rather than just your alerts, right? Your branding, your overlays, everything like that is going to tell uh, new people a bit about, um, about you um, and a bit about your brand and... You know, that might get them chatting as well. Kind of in a self-promo. Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit of self-promotion going on in here, Kazda. <laughs> no, I'm trying not to teach. I'm joking. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I think, like I said, I think that's more of a to do with brand, uh, building your brand. Uh, I feel like it's not going to massively create chat engagement. Uh, I guess it would temporarily. But that's more people, yeah, getting to know you as opposed to creating... Jesus Christ, it's really noisy where I live, guys. I'm sorry, by the way, if that's been loud. I use something similar for incoming raids. If you could make the alert personal and trigger response so it can... Yeah. Yeah, that's true. The more things, personal alerts you have, I guess, the more branding you have in your page that makes it stand out as opposed to just just a plain basic one then I guess there's more to talk about but then that's only for one the thing is with that is that's only like a one-off thing so if someone new comes into your stream and they see the follower alert that's great and they'll talk about it but then that's so that only creates temporary chat see what I mean that would only work the first time maybe explain better what I'm trying to say look in the elite discord oh my god all right should we just get Kaiser on the stream Oh my. Oh my God, that's that's actually terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. Your eyes are so blue. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I kind of get what you're saying. Like your alerts can create chat. But yeah, it's, I think that's more for when you've got new people coming into the stream that haven't seen it before. Um, I guess if you switch them up, it can cre create more chat. But for followers, three new, one, new ones per stream. What? Anyway, yeah, is there any more questions, by the way, before we go? Kaz just is going off on a tangent, and I'm a little confused. <laughs> so, I agree, but it could, yeah, trickle, but yeah, okay, I do. I just feel like that's something that uh, I'm timing as fast as I can. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I agree, but uh, yeah, at the same time, I think that's, that's, that is, it's a good point, it's a good point. Um, having your personalised alerts will, uh, will trigger, uh, hopefully, a conversation as well move those fingers quicker damn you <laughs> is there anything else you want to what you wanted to ask kaiser um before we go 
Anything else with Tron? Take your time. I haven't got anywhere to be. Also, can we get a raid set up, please? Creepy, you still there, sir? Creepy? Creepy, you hear me? Hello? He's gone. He's supposed to be working right now. It's shameful. Utterly, utterly shameful. So I'm saying if you use default stuff, there's no response. If you make it unique and, and personal, it makes people... There. Oh, there he is. I think that's him. We can raid Kells. Yeah? Always... Yeah? Oh, Baron's live in five minutes. Uh, it's up to you guys. Uh, it's Baron's birthday, so I don't know if we... It's up to you. I can keep talking for five minutes. What should we do for five minutes, guys? What should we talk about? What's going on? Has anyone seen uh, WandaVision? Great show. I'll wait for the B-Day boy. Is he? Is he got like a timer up saying five minutes? Or does he go... He's starting at 25 past four. That's a very, very weird. Uh, can I say Flemma is a perfect example of a good chat engagement? Oh, thanks. Thanks, you guys. Wait for Baron. I need to watch that. Wait for the birthday boy. All right, we'll wait for the birthday boy. Has he got a timer on? Is that why we know it's in five minutes? Have we? <laughs> Unless you guys just want to sit in his chat. What should we chat about? Do you have any tips for just chatting, Flemma? Thing is that uh, with just chatting, it's difficult because I don't tend to do a lot of it. Um, and for me personally, uh, when my streams first start, I don't tend to have a lot of viewers. So I was gonna start doing like a just chatting segment um, at the beginning, but uh, I don't get a lot of viewership from the start. So I don't know. If you want to do a just chatting segment, I think it's a great idea because I see a lot of people do it. Um, Kaiser, for example, will do it. My tip for you to be, uh, if you're gonna do that, is promote it if it's not something you've done before. I think that's something maybe I'm doing wrong. So if you're gonna start with a just chatting segment and you've got certain things that you're gonna to wanna to talk about, promote that when you do, say like a tweet for example, when you're going live, say, oh, we're gonna talk about this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but also plan out what you're gonna do. Because I think where I've gone wrong in the past, where I've done it, is that I wing it. And then I completely forget what I wanted to say. <laughs> but so yeah, I think have like a few bullet points of things you wanted to talk about. So, for example, you've got some announcements and stuff you want to make. Write them down, because if you have a memory like a fish, like myself, I'll forget. I did it yesterday. I wrote things down and I forgot to talk about them. <laughs> Completely forgot. So do that. Um, but yeah, just just chatting segment is a good way, I guess, to, to get people in. Uh, because I think a lot of people, and I've done this before myself, uh, I've started off a game and people have missed the start of the game because I've started or stream straight off with the game. Whereas what you could do is start off with a just chatting segment so you can give yourself time to have people come into the stream. And then once you've got your audience kind of there, then you can start the game. Uh, do you have any tips on what the bot role can be to get more engagement? Yeah, I mean, the I think, again, the, the, the chat bot that I use, I don't use uh, probably to my advantage enough. I've got very, very few commands in there, and I think I'd have could have more. For example, uh, let's say Baron. Uh, make sure you use it as you. In fact, everyone do it when we go into a stream. Um, he's just gone live now, so we'll go over in a couple of minutes. So I'll wait. I'll answer the heaviest question in a second. Um, but yeah, so he's got a joke thing. I don't know why, because every time I do it, he's like, "Oh, pff, that's a stupid joke." I was like, "You put it in there, Baron." <laughs> It's your jokes. I know they're not technically your jokes. You've probably got from a website. But if you don't like it, why have you put it in there? It's like, Baron, you know we love your face, but what the hell? <laughs> um, so that's that's an example. He did start at 422. Is that, is that a reference that he's doing? Uh, what's your thoughts on the starting screen? So again, this is something that I have opinions on, but I personally need to improve on myself. Uh, well, I have. So music. Guys, I didn't have music on my starting screen for a long time. And it's fucking quiet. And I know I've had people come back and complain and be like, it's so quiet, for example, guys, <laughs> being like, it's so quiet. Um, and there's no hype because I think that's what Kaiser, again, does really well. I hate complimenting him, this sucks. But what Kaiser does really well uh, is he's got this music that's real like, yeah, pump, let's get hyped, really like hype music. 
Um, and it does, and it gets you in that kind of hype, like, let's, let, let's go. Um, I also really love Matty's startup music, and Creepy gets you some pretty good music going as well, and it does, and it gets you pumped up. Um, and that's something I've only recently done. Um, the wonderful Matty, by the way, I don't mean, well, I do want to promote. So Matty Gruden makes music, and he made my startup music, guys. So if you're looking for your own personalised music, where you won't have to worry about any copyright, uh, I'd shoot him a message. His music are really good. Yeah, watch out for, well, obviously, yeah, watch out for DMCA. Obviously. I mean, everyone should know this at this point, guys. If you're going to use music, make sure it's copyright free and that you're not going to get, yeah, inflammable. Go on Discord and go raid. Is that how I do it? All right. Where's Discord? Where are we doing it? Raid. Do you know what? I actually never do this. Like, ever. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm doing it right. Did I do it right? Let's go. I didn't even think of music. So like, is it better to leave the starting screen for up to five to 10 minutes or better start more quickly? So for me, um, damn it, I shouldn't have started it yet. That's fine, we've got a minute. <laughs> he's still got the starting screen up. Okay, don't guys, don't raid until he's, um, he's, he's actually gone live yet. Maybe we'll pause it and start in a second. Um, yeah, Quinny, yeah, guys, startup music is really, really, really powerful. I think to especially get some hype going, make sure it's obviously copyright uh, safe. Uh, in terms of time, don't leave it too long. Uh, some people do it for 10 minutes. But if you're going to do it 10 minutes, that's fine. I'd recommend put a timer. I think, again, this is something that I need to improve on that I think I'm going to get uh, sorted. Because then people know when you're going to go live. They're like, oh, we're going to go live now. They're not going to... If they know exactly when they're going to go live, I think it's a really good uh, a really good thing. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Great class. Has he, has he gone live yet? Someone message him and be like, we're coming to raid you, go freaking live, dude. I did this yesterday, I went to raid him, and <laughs> he was on his beer at back screen. I was like, okay, I'll go raid Keza. Didn't realise they were playing together. Beer at back screen. I was like, god damn it. So I messaged him, I was like, get your ass back in here. Uh, you're very welcome. Guys, just before, obviously, cause we're still just waiting for uh, Baron to uh, raid. Has anyone, if, any other questions? Or, or, just, or just something to talk about? An opinion? What about pineapple and pizza, guys? How do we feel about that? Any thoughts? Ah, oh, thanks, guys. Maybe my mama would be proud. I still don't think I could be a teacher. Kids terrify me. Especially teenagers. Nah, mate. Nah. <laughs> You're the best. Ah, oh, You rocked it. No, chat rocked it. Guys, I always say this at the end of my streams, guys. Um, I say thank you for being here. I love streaming. But streaming wouldn't be fun without chat, guys. And that is why chat is so important. If you haven't got your community there with you, chatting with you, it's just not the same. It's not fun. It's only fun when I have people that are coming to hang out and chatting with me, guys. That's what makes a good stream. It's the chat. 100%. I think that's that's that, that's that the my last parting words on you guys is uh, they should be number one priority because they, they're the what make, makes the stream. You know, not me. I don't do shit. I, d I just swear and get scared at games. I don't do anything. If anything, I'm just. It's you guys. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Right, it's Bound Gone Live yet. Yeah. You're also very hot. Really? Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. No, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Again, guys, just like I just want to say, a lot of these things have been opinions um, and things that I've witnessed and advice. Obviously, like I said, take it with a pinch of salt because um, it was all still opinions. So doesn't mean I'm right because this time, uh, most of the time I'm not right. Is he live yet? <laughs> oh, look, I've got some points. Boom, fifty more points. Channel points. What are the channel redemptions for the, the elite community? Oh, we don't have any. We should get some. <laughs> he is. Is he live now? Awesome. All right, let's go raid Baron. Guys, it is Baron's birthday. How old is he? Did he say in his tweet how old he is? Let's, let's just go in and be like, happy 60th birthday, guys. Because <laughs> he loves a troll. Yeah, I, I haven't... Oh, wait, hang on. Do I need to do the raid thing again? It's because it got cancelled. Hang on. Raid Baron McBeerbeer. 
42? What's 42? I'm so confused. <laughs> that was B, honey. Okay. Are you gonna do the raid? It's just getting awkward now, isn't it? Oh, he's 42. Oh. <laughs> okay, everyone say happy 60th birthday, Baron. We love you. Damn, he's old. Don't say 42 is old. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> I don't know. It was working before and then it got cancelled, didn't it? I mean, I can't do anything. <laughs> this is up to you guys. I'm just sitting this... Uh, just watching it go to chaos, you know? Hmm? What's going on, kids? I'm just going to sit here with my energy drink. <laughs> You already have a raid in progress. Yeah, but it got cancelled, didn't it? Just do it. Just do raid. Baron make boom boom. I can't do shit. <laughs> Eight. Language. Language, Kaiser. Okay. This is going well. Can we not just host him instead? That, that essentially does the same thing though, right? Try just doing a host. Hello. <laughs> What's everyone up to this weekend? Hmm? What we got planned, guys? I am going to be working and watching streams. Who's streaming this weekend, guys? What are we playing? I will allow self promotion right now because we're waiting to raise. <laughs> there we go. 